Hi guys, and thank y'all for watching. Welcome to season five, episode 13 of the Have and Have Nots. So, um, y'all already know Wyatt is about to catch these hands. He called his mama, and his mama's gonna try to show up and pay this man. But one thing happened, she didn't get the address. So how she gonna show up to pay the man and she ain't got nobody address? So anyway, huh. Jim walking in the house, he's seen that Hannah's there. He's actually happy that Hannah's there. I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought he was gonna be mad and acting a fool like he acted the last time, but he's not. I guess out of everybody there, he happy to see a friendly face because Hannah has done a lot for them. So anyway, this show is mostly about Justin because we see Justin's whole life crumble because this is what we've been waiting on. Like, where his wife at? What his family think? What his friends say? Do the station know yet? So in this episode, we get all those questions answered. So the mama been calling the chief and be calling everybody. So y'all remember the mama? She the one that lived across the the street from Candace that was hollering I seen two African two colored boys go in that house and only one came out she went on about that shit every episode like for an entire season but anyway so his mama has disowned him she done talked to his brother she done talked to everybody she don't want him at no more family gathering she don't want nothing to do with him she embarrassed by him said he done ruined his whole life and everything she told him um Justin, was you doing that color board the same thing that I got called to the school for that you was doing in that locker room? I'm not crazy, Justin. I know that's what you're doing, Justin. He's like, no, mama. And he was like, stop lying to me. Stop lying to me, Justin. I know you're lying to me, Justin. Got the lady push all up, her wind up and down, her hell falling out. So anyway, that's the, the Justin just done ruined everything. Wait till she find out he's been sexually harassing uh, inmates and he gonna mess around and lose his job about that, but, but that's coming. But I feel like he really gonna act a fool on Jeffrey now because Jeffrey ain't about to go live with him. Thank God when his daddy come to get him, Jeffrey was like, you living with me? And, and Justin just looking like, well, he thought Jeffrey was gonna, he thought Jeffrey was gonna be homeless and all he had was him boy by <laughs> No. Anyway, he crazy. Anyway, so... Jeffrey told Justin that uh, he didn't really want to be with him like that. You know, Jeffrey had already told Justin that what he was doing when he met him, like what he was doing to people in the back of the patrol car when he met him was just sick and twisted and he wasn't feeling it and he didn't like it. So what made him think that suddenly Jeffrey was going to approve of it and be like, I'm going to live with you. I think he, he somewhat had burned his I, no, nah, I don't think he done burn his bridges with Jeffrey because Jeffrey really ain't got nobody else. So anyway, so David going home with um Jeffrey co busting up in there. Erica waiting on him in a sexy neck, all her sexy nakedness. <laughs> Poor thing, she embarrassed, but she felt better once she found out Jeffrey was gay. But Jeffrey's like, Dad, <laughs> you know, he happy that he with somebody he actually loved. He told his daddy, man, I ain't never seen you happy like that. I'm glad you found somebody that's nice, that's truly better than my mama. So anyway, Candy's working on getting this money. Come to find out, it's the senator that's got the money on hold. I need him to unleash this damn money to her because Jim them about to find out the money uh, in limbo and I don't want them to get the money back before she get the money back. Now, I do feel sorry for why, but they got more money. I just need them to get this address, go say why, because I don't want the boy killed. But at the same time, I want Candy to get this money, because I believe Benny ain't been making the payment to the Malones, and they about to come beat him up halfway killing. And I need her to hurry up get this money and give Benny some money so he can pay off this damn truck he done went and got. And I hope he can get his old business back and his old truck back and then have a whole extra truck in the process. That's what I want for Benny. So I'm hoping that that's what happened. So anyway, um, Candace talked to the old boy about the senator or whatever, talking about he wanted to see her, and she finally talked to him. Girl, go, I don't understand why Candace just can't be sit and be pretty than pepper for this man, be a first lady. Why she just got to be in trouble and about trouble? 
why she just can't be beautiful and pampered and give up some good booty to this man. This is what any woman would want to do. And he pretty much well making Candace the main chick. It ain't like he gonna be with a bunch of other women. He really just kind, kind of wanting Candace was probably gonna land her a ring and she start acting so stupid. But anyway, I don't even know. Melissa and Benjamin, I think they gonna mess around. Even though Benjamin's being a butthole to her, I think they gonna mess around and start liking each other again because she was one step from by having her pe as Jocelyn Hernandez said, beefcake, some of his beefcake down in the kitchen on the counter. But anyway, uh, Veronica working on getting her institutional life because she done went to one of her own connections. And did y'all hear what that man said? He remember that time when they mm hmm hmm and the huh huh and the uh huh huh huh. She remember that. He remember that time when that mm hmm and uh huh and mm hmm. So see. Veronica, this whole time you've been getting around and getting it down, and you always be trying to act like to David that you've been like be, being privileged. And like, like Jeffrey said, Mom, you're not innocent. You're not. You're not. But anyway, and she tried to have this girl institutionalized. She's probably going to kill this baby, lose this baby, do something to. Uh, to harm this baby and not have this baby. But with Melissa, leave the girl alone. You can have the baby. She probably signed the baby over to you as soon as she had it because she won't go on with her life and or whatever. But anyway, I'm hoping her way out of this is going to be Hannah. It's either going to be Hannah or Hannah and Catherine both. We'll just have to see. But I thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next review.